Hostile spy plane established overhead. Taking B. Let's do with the sniper for goddamn nerd. Jesus Christ. Strong stream, sir. Yeah. Mm, thank you. Yo, what's up guys? Here we are. It's been a long time coming. I'm absolutely loving this game, guys. I don't know about you, but there's a lot of mixed opinions on this game right now. Some people loving it, some people hating it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are saying. I'd love to know what you guys are thinking about this game. Obviously, they need to buff the snipers a little bit, and they need to nerf some of the overpowered guns. Especially the MP5. I mean, you guys know what I'm saying there. Uh, pretty much everybody is using the MP5 right now, but other than that... This game is awesome. The snipers feel great. Everything is super nice with the snipers. Very smooth. I love the movement. Um, but I don't know about you, but the number one thing that actually pisses me off about this game is the carryover score streaks. Uh, back in World War II, that's the one thing that just drove me nuts, man. I hated it so much. And it's the same thing in this game, except for in this one, you don't actually need a perk for it either. So basically, you're just getting, it's not even score streaks. This is a score collection, right? So we're getting people that are going negative, calling in chopper gunners. There's just kill streaks the whole entire game. There's really no incentive to go on streaks. It doesn't feel the same. They definitely need to uh, just revert that and make it fine. I'm fine with score streaks. You know, score streaks are chill. But as long as they reset when you die, we definitely need that as a community. And that's been really overlooked. I've been seeing a lot of people complaining about the guns, but not that. I just wanted to say that. Um, just to let you guys know what I'm thinking. But here we go. This is my class setup. And you guys would have saw two different snipers in the uh, video. It, but it would have been the same sniper just with different attachments. So I'm going to run down both of them and just tell you what I have. So for the first one, this one's going to be focused mainly around attachments. Uh, so if you guys don't know, there's actually this wild card called Gunfighter, which lets you have three additional attachments for your gun. And when you're first leveling it up, it can be very useful because the gun's a little bit weak. So having more attachments might help you out. Uh, so for this one, we're going to run Gunfighter. And then for the attachments on our Pellington, we got the Stabilizer Muzzle. We have the Tiger Team Barrel. 
we got the tiger team spotlight body this is that secret attachment that everybody needs to use if you haven't used this try it out you'll love it it puts a red dot above everybody's head even when you're not aiming down sight so it makes it a little bit easier for you to see people and then go in for the shot just try it trust you guys will love it then we got the bipod for the underbarrel we have the seven round mag for your magazine and this could be a little tricky i could see some of you guys wanting to use one of these but we don't want to do that because if you do that you're going to down your ads time for basically any of these and that's what we're trying to avoid because the ads time for the snipers is already super slow so use the seven round mag trust then we go back we got the airborne wrap if you guys don't have airborne you could use serpent you could use jungle or you could use speed tape really they're all going to help you out with your ads but for me personally i feel like the airborne uh is the nicest one but that's just my personal opinion you guys can run whichever you like but definitely try the airborne you might love it and for the stock finally we run marathon uh really we just want to get that sprint to fire time up because we did lose a little bit of it through the attachments so to do that we're just going to grab the marathon stock and you could run Raider, but you don't really need the aim walking movement speed. And when you use Raider, your hip fire goes down 15%. So stick with Marathon. Trust. Trust. Then we got the 1911. This thing's nasty. Obviously, man, this thing is actually sick. I love using the pistol. Uh, we got the stim shot, the tomahawk, and the field mic. Just a little UAV for yourself if you guys didn't know. Super useful. Obviously, you need to run tack mask because the stuns in this game are wild right now. You can't see nothing. Your screen goes so funny. Your guy puts his hands right up in the air. I mean, you, you, you need to use tack mask, right? You need to use tack mask. And we got scavenger. Just a filler for perk 2. There's really nothing too fantastic in here. And then perk 3, we got gung-ho. This is super important. I mean, you could run ninja, but really gung-ho is more important for your sniping because it lets you fire your weapon and use equipment while sprinting you also move at full speed when reloading and you switch weapons faster so really this thing is super necessary for sniping you take less damage falling and you can fire more accurately while sliding this is a sniper's perk we need this so it is the most important uh third perk for your sniping and that's it for this one let's move to the other one all right for this next one guys this has been the class that i've been using the most recently so once you max out the pellington and get all of the attachments i feel like you don't really need all of the extra ones you only need the main attachments so the main attachments for the pellington we got the tiger team barrel this attachment is the best attachment for the pellington if you guys don't have it yet grind it out i know it's a pain in the ass getting all the attachments for this gun but the Tiger Team barrel gives you faster reload, better damage, faster fire rate, and more bullet velocity. And it doesn't really sacrifice anything except for one bullet. So it does cost you one bullet to use Tiger Team, but it's worth it. Trust. So Tiger Team. Then we got the Tiger Team spotlight for the body. Trust. Trust. Gotta use this, man. It'll help you out. Then we got the 7 round mag, the airborne wrap in the marathon stock so those are the main attachments for the gun i haven't had any problems with it and i've still been hitting clips so give this a try you guys might love it this is going to be what i'll be running from now until they fix up the snipers or do something else this is going to be the class that i'll be using but i'll let you guys know if i do change it for the rest we got the 1911 the stim shot the tomahawk and the field mic and then down here is the big difference so for the wild card before we were using gunfighter but for this one we get perk greed so in previous call of duties perk greed lets you get one extra perk from a category this one lets you get an extra perk from each category so it is super strong right now and that's why i've been using this class because for this we get to run tack mask and flak jacket so nades and stuns are absolutely wild in this game right now. So using this is going to help you out a lot. Maybe get you not as pissed off at this game sometimes. I mean, it works for me, so try it out. Then we got Assassin and Scavenger for perk 2. Not really a big deal. But then perk 3, we get to run Gung Ho and Ninja. So footsteps in this game are also super loud. So Ninja makes your footsteps quiet and you don't pop up on the field mic. Super sweet, man. Gung Ho and Ninja. Definitely recommend it. In my opinion, having all of the extra perks is definitely better than having the extra attachments because you don't really need them. So give these classes a try, guys. Let me know which one's your favorite. And like I said before, I will let you know if I do change my class setup at all. But for now, this is going to be what we're running. 
that's it for the video guys if you did watch this far you're a legend thank you so much for always watching my videos i appreciate the support make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already we'll see you guys in the next upload peace out